Hey everybody, it's Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Avis Cherie. How are you? I just wanted to come because there's some interesting things going on with me. Something that's close to my heart that I do every year. It is the National Fibromyalgia and Chronic Pain Association. I'm an ambassador for that association. And this year I have been working with my doctors, um, inquiring about studies, um, researching some things that are helping move towards something that can help aid in um, chronic pain sufferers specifically in my case, fibromyalgia and migraines. So as a part of that, I have decided to bring you into my life behind the scenes, behind the author, behind the servant, and give you a glimpse on a new playlist I'm launching um, this month for my YouTube channel, Avis Cherie. It's called The Fibro Fighter and Chronic Pain um, chronicles. So it'll be my day to days, the times that I have um, um, that the fibromyalgia is inflamed, and the time I'm the times I'm trying to write through it, speak through it, work through it, press through it, as well as um, I've been working with the neurology associates and specialists that I have for almost a decade now, and my neurologist uh, allowed me to give you guys a visual and take you on the journey of my Botox injections for migraines and the spaces that I get it because I have so many questions that I'm asked. And um, I really want to just educate caretakers. My, my loved ones especially doesn't like to see me go through this ordeal. And every three months I get them and um, people ask, you know, how do I get this? Will this relieve pain? I'm going to say this based off what my neurologist told me and in the years of me going through the trials and errors of medications and everything else. Um, you know, and one thing I want to make clear, um, I've been a chronic migraine sufferer since my teens. It increased after having children and increased after age, you know, just stressors in life. And um, there is a cocktail and a vigorous regimen of different things that I've tried consistently. Um, my doctors, my charts have been consistently targeting migraines for at least 20 years. So, um, Botox became an option a few years ago and I was very hesitant. I had to get approved for it because FDA had just cleared it. It, and your insurance has to approve you. And as far as my knowledge at the time, um, there had to be a strenuous history of other methods to try to treat not cure but treat the migraine because with with a lot of chronic pain and a lot of disorders like fibromyalgia there's no cure there's only medication to aid and give you some sort of relief um so i just wanted to make that clear as to why i stress that this is not a sympathy thing when people are chronic pain sufferers for whatever capacity or have hidden afflictions and ailments that you just don't see because we look normal we don't want sympathy we press through my face is obviously still swollen um sometimes part of my face looks like a partial stroke um you don't know why because i'll come in and i'll do what i have to do and keep it moving because i have to live through it and um there's no warning for fibromyalgia. There's no warning for getting the onset of my migraines because they're constant. They're they're typically always lurking. Um, fibromyalgia, my body's inflamed from head to toe. It's a very brutal and very painful disease to have. So I have to live through it and jump over hurdles the days that I don't, the days that I'm smooth, the days that I'm feeling free, the days that I'm chilling. I have to be twice if not three times as productive for the amount of days that these things lay me down flat on my back and i have a lot of those days that i'm flat on my back and there's nothing you can do you're immobile you try to push yourself but the more you twist your body try to use and exert every piece of your energy you're gonna pay for that some sort especially with fibromyalgia if I twist and turn my body and keep trying to get to that goal and that mark and just ignore the pain that I'm obviously in or the warnings that I'm obviously in, what will happen is it will lay me down for almost a week. So I'm going to take you on a journey of those types of things, the times that I have flare-ups in both my fibromyalgia and my migraines attacking me, as well as it impacting my speech, my cognitive, my um, mobility. Um, it, it affects your memory. It Both of these things affects and weighs on 
everything else that you do. So um, I figured that this playlist would help educate because I'm always speaking and promoting and cheerleading and rallying around people and supporting people that suffers from different chronic pain affliction and also fibromyalgia. But now um, this year it was placed on my heart my spirit just said, you know what? Be your own spokeswoman. The things that you go through as you're trying to write book two, as you're a contributor for different editorials, as you're doing speaking engagements, as you are being a woman, a mother, a wife, a daughter, all of these things, you know? So sometimes we just have to say, we are our best advertisement. We are our best self being our most truthful and authentic self. I did a part one and part two of why I'm doing it on my YouTube page under that playlist. And then I will give you a glimpse to um, the actual injections the other day and the turnaround time. And then I'll start to just sort of like me giving a visual diary to my day to day. Um, I won't be doing it every day, but on an as needed basis of what I feel I should share of myself because you know, people get ignorant. People can be cruel. People can be very brutal. Use discernment with what you share with people and how much and how immature some people are and understand that this is my truth. This is my walk. It's not a sympathy walk. It's actually a victory lap because again, I don't play with people playing with me. I take everything serious about others and as well, I take everything serious about myself. So get into it. I hope you educate yourself. I hope you educate others. And if you're going through this, I hope you chime in with me. Um, email me at evolution at avasheree.me or avasheree at gmail.com. And we can bring together a pool of resources for one another, a support group for one another, let one another know what's going on in the communities around us. And we can just share our journey to open up the mindsets of people, the caregivers, the loved ones, the doctors. You know, I talk to my doctors. One of my doctors, my rheumatologist, I can't wait for him to allow me to video or share his input and his, uh, oh my God, his expertise and knowledge. He's, he's invaluable. So, um, that's what this is. So I just wanted to clarify that and hope that you get and gain what it is that I'm trying to send out into the world about being informed, advocating, compassionate caregivers, just having a desire in your heart and the will to um, want to learn more about what your brothers and sisters are doing as your brothers and sisters keeper. And that's what being a national fibromyalgia and chronic pain ambassador does we make sure we're in the know whether it's a big event whether we're giving out tickets for swimming and aquatics for um stress relief off the body for fibromyalgia or whether it's referring you to one of the top notch neurologists that's in your your area that we have a uh, history with that we can attest to whatever it is or whether it's just helping you to change your diet we've done a lot of community talk amongst ourselves about which medicines make us better, worse, side effects, withdrawal effects, you know, it's it's a huge community. And so because this is real for me and I've been just, you know, promoting it once a year, I decided to um, share this these intimate details and give you a visual diary of what it is that I go through. So get ready for that playlist. Here's some snippets, which you can um, expect to see. And I hope you watch it all. I hope you actually subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, not just for my encouraging food for your soul vlogs, but also now for the fibro fighter and chronic pain chronicles. All right. So next time guys, love to you guys. Best to you. I'm Ava Sheree.